In this video, I'm going to teach you how to version bump a plugin, which will prevent it from being updated. And there's many times where you might run into this, where maybe a new update came out to a plugin and it breaks a few things and you don't have time to fix it right now, but you intend to later and you want to prevent it from automatically updating. So if you have some way of automatically updating your plugins, this would prevent it from automatically updating. There's many reasons why you might want to do this. There's also some security concerns that you need to be aware of. A lot of times a plugin or a theme update, what it's going to do is going to maybe have a security patch and you would lose out on that if you version bumped to prevent updating. So let me just show you how to do this. Here is a WordPress website and there was a recent update and it kind of stinks because I just made a video about this like two months ago. So there's a plugin called WP Mail SMTP and what this does is it makes it so your website is almost uh, guaranteed when you, it sends an email out, it's gonna end up in someone's inbox. I have a great video on that, but I use this plugin. Now they released a new version of it and now they're trying to monetize it. So before it was tucked underneath the settings panel of WordPress and then they decided to make it take a parent navigation item here, which I really don't like unless it's a main core product that to have it take up a full menu item. And who knows what they're gonna do next uh, in order to further monetize it. So when you actually click into it, there's no setting in here to have it go back under settings and now we have um, uh, an advertisement as well. So. Who knows the future of this? All I know is I'm going to change it, but I don't have time right now. I want to roll this back to a prior version of the plugin, and I want to do this version bump to prevent it from updating to the one that has this. They made it more annoying. So you're going to need two things. You're going to first need to get your hands on the prior version or any prior version of this plugin. Now there's a great tool for that. I love this tool. It's called Rollback, WP Rollback. So you could just go to plugins, add new, search for the word rollback, one word, it'll come up. I'll go ahead and activate it. Now what this does is really slick. And I've made a video on this once before. What it allows you to do is any plugin that is in the WordPress directory or even a theme it will allow you to roll back to any prior version number. So now you can see uh, right here, uh, alongside some of these plugins, there's an option that says roll back. That was not there before. So here is that plugin and I'm gonna roll it back. So I'm gonna click on roll back and here is the current version I have installed. And so I'm gonna go back to this version and I can even view the change log. It, this is just an awesome plugin. So at version 1.5 is when they moved it from settings to take a parent menu item, which is what I don't really like. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on a rollback. And then right here, I'm gonna click on a rollback and it's gonna roll it back to the prior version. Now you could go directly to wordpress.org and download prior versions. This just makes it so much more convenient. And now what I would do, I already got what I wanted. I'm gonna disable WP rollback, but you can continue leaving it enabled if you want or leave it there disabled for just the times you want it. So now you can see it's saying I have an update available. Now this is where the problem comes in. I might accidentally update it again and this is where I'm gonna bump the version number so that it won't update. So the way WordPress works is it looks at the version number of the plugin, then it goes to WordPress and says, what's the current version number there? And if the one on WordPress has a higher version number, it's gonna say you have an update. So when we bump the version number, we're gonna modify a single line of code. Where when we bump it, it, and now in the future when WordPress goes and tries to see if there's an update, it's the, the number that's at on WordPress's website is gonna be lower than the one we have here. We're gonna increase the number. So this says it's version 1.4.2. We're gonna change it and it's gonna say something different and it's not gonna prompt us for updates. So this step is easy, but we're gonna look at some code and you might have a security plugin on your website that's preventing you from accessing this area of WordPress. So underneath plugins, there's an option here that says plugin editor. Now, if you have iTheme security, it might block this. So you might want to temporarily disable that or any security plugin if you don't see this option available. So I'm going to click on plugin editor and we get a warning. You might want to heed it. I'll click on I understand. And then in the area right here, you can set, it says select plugin to edit. I'm going to choose WP Mail SMTP and then I'm going to click on select. 
and then here it is. So it's first gonna take me to the main core file of the plugin, and there's this area here at the top that has information. We're gonna change one little spot right here. It says plugin name, and then right here it says plugin version, and that's where it's pulling that 1.4.2, and this is actually where all the information that displays when you're seeing your list of plugins pulls from right here. So I can just change this number right here, so it says 1.4.2, well I can put, let's just put the number 5, 5.4.2. So according to my website, I'm running version 5, but on WordPress.org where the plugin is, is up to version 1.5.2. Anyways, that's all I have to do. I'm going to click on update file. It's going to update this for me. And down here it says file edited success successfully. If you screw something up, it won't, and it's going to break something, WordPress won't apply the change. So now when I go and click on installed plugins and I see my lists, guess what? It's no longer showing me I have an update available. And right here it says my version number is that one I just entered, 5.4.2. So now when I go to dashboard and then updates and it checks to see if there's anything available, an update, it's looking at those version numbers it's not going to show me that there's an update because the ver it, version number here is higher than the version number on WordPress.org. Now, keep in mind, there are security problems that you may run into. So if this particular plugin has a security problem in the future, I'm not going to get that update. So I don't think you should look at this as a permanent fix, but for me, it's, I don't have time to look for a different SMTP plugin right this moment, but I'll add it to my list of things to do, and I will do that in the future. So I just want to make sure I can click update all plugins, or if I have an automatic update system in place that it can do it, and I don't have to worry about it causing problems. Now this is simple, right? A minor annoyance, right? The menu item moving but there are times I've run into where a certain update breaks something, so you want to pr stay at that lower version uh, until maybe the developer gets things sorted out or something like that. There's so many reasons why you might want to do this version bump in order to prevent an update, and that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Now's the time where you should click on that thumbs up button. If you have a question about this, leave it in the comments section down below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, click on that notification bell if you like useful tutorial videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.